Hello, in this video I'm going to show you the execution capabilities um, of JustPlanet. So execution capabilities for job shop scheduling. Therefore I'm switching to my sample data account again and uh, yeah, actually it's fact that at a certain point of time it comes to the execution of all the operations that you have been scheduling uh, that you have been scheduled so now the question is what functionality is provided to bring in the shop for progress into your planning board um, to start my explanation I will switch to the overview where you can define your users because um, in just planet in general we have got the planner and the viewer user rights so that means that the planner is fully in the driver's seat you know that the planner always has access to the entire functionality while the viewer when entering just planet will just see the gunshot views but won't be able to move any bar so filter capabilities color schemes and so on will be accessible but a viewer wouldn't be able to reschedule in any way. Now if we're coming to the execution we have a third role and that is the role of the operator. The operator can either be an individual person that works on the shop floor or the operator can also be seen as a workstation. And bringing in the operator enables you to set the shop floor progress. So that means to set which of your operation has been started and when on which resource, which operation has been finished and if an operation needs longer than estimated. So here I inserted an operator and this operator obviously following the idea of having a work center that means here my operator reflects the work center for surface treatment and you can could imagine that for this operator like one tablet is installed within the work center of surface treatment which is accessible for all the workers that would operate one of the surface treatment machines <coughs> and if if um, you as an operator log into this planet it does not look like what we can see here when a viewer or a planner logs in. There's a different view that we call the operator client. And if I'm switching to the operator client, it looks like this. So this client is made to be used for mobile devices. So here I'm using this while demonstrating this on a um, laptop. But if you would log in via a smartphone, then all these blue area here at both sides wouldn't appear and it would just come to that list and this list here is showing the entire workload of the work center surface treatment from top to down um, as scheduled and related to the scheduled starting date and you can see here obviously that like the first four operations that are in the schedule are set to finish that is reflected by that black um, square here so we have got one started task in here reflected by the green color and we have got obviously one operation that is not started yet but which should have been started and if I'm now selecting this and say okay this is started as planned or you can also set a dedicated start time if you use mobile device then this dialog will be a bit different and it will be structured like you know that from your smartphone and using a calendar so you can scroll up and down to select the time so but what you do here is like by using the touch screen of your smartphone or of the tablets you just set the data here in my case a case I set that as planned um, <coughs> and then I'm setting these data and what I do here with that little loading process I add this information that the task 20 of the PO number 4 is now started as planned or started at any time and you can imagine that then 
all your workers that operate on the shop floor, you know, have the task to set the progress accordingly using this functionality. And all these information is then gathered in an update storage. And the update storage um, then needs to be approved by the planner and by the planner's approval of this update storage you trigger a rescheduling based on the shop floor progress data and let us see how that looks like i'm now going to the execute tab because now i'm seeing the entire schedule out of the perspective of the planner again and the planner would enter in the execute functionality and see all this data that is set so currently what you see here it's 25 data sets gathered through via the operator apps or operator clients and if i want to approve then i can see okay if i will approve this data here yeah then i will trigger rescheduling but let's see what will happen because like there is one data set in here which obviously <coughs> um, will last in um, a result that was not planned in this way because if we are focusing on that operation here on the surface treatment then you can see it's just set to start it and it is not finished yet but I have got some finished information from this task here which leads to the end here and the successor is started already so it means if I am approving this data set now then these tasks as they are still ongoing will be prolonged automatically so this is what the automatic scheduling will then automatically do it will automatically prolong those tasks as they are still under execution and not finished yet if for some reason this operation would not even be started and would be not started yet then this task would not even be prolonged it would be pushed forward left from that yellow uh, right from that yellow line as this operation would have the status of not being started yet okay so let's do that so now i am approving all this data in here and then we will see that i get a rescheduling and you can see here exactly that it happens with that surface treatment operation of the po8 that this was extended automatically luckily this had no negative impact because like the surface treatment workload was not too intense and there is no successor that was scheduled to start earlier so there was no delay in the entire queue as there is no queue based on a 100% usage but if there would have been so like you can see here in the upper part of your resources then of course the fact that this operation obviously needs longer than initially estimated definitely impacts the rest of your schedule okay so this is how it works so we have got a new user uh, a new user role which is the operator the operator role is foreseen to set the shop floor progress the progress is gathered in an update storage the planner approves the update storage and triggers a reschedule run and the more often you reschedule the more live gun you get so like here right now you can see that there's just a tiny gap between the time now line and the planning start line and the more often you do that the more live gun you get by using the execution capabilities of just planet so another very important outcome of having the as is data is that this historical data will enable you to make some deviation analysis so that you compare what you initially planned in comparison to how it was in reality and having a closer look into this deviation definitely helps you to further 
um, increase the quality of your planning data. Okay, so this was a very short overview over the um, execution capabilities of the job shop scheduling software just planet. I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.